I am Aisha Harun Zamindar. I'm an interior architect. I have been practicing interior architecture and furniture making for the past 22 years. We established Design Studio 57 three and a half years ago. I graduated from the Art Institute of Chicago back in 2000. I worked in Islamabad, I was with City, then I worked with Shahid Abdullah for uh, a short period, then I worked with House of Zan for a short period, then as time went on decided on making my own establishment. We have to think of form and function first. Because of the form and function I've always tried to utilize different kind of materials and the materials uh, collage together and then we go ahead and create something new. We try to. That has uh, been the core of our design philosophy. You know, when we get a new project, whether it's a new home or a renovation, I usually just go and visit. It takes at least two to three weeks to really understand what kind of people they are who are going to be living in this space. And the space, most of the time, really tells you what it wants to be. Based on that, we always create something different for our uh, client. And then I have to explain to them that uh, this is not possible. The closest we can come to, this is possible. When we do that, we are able to create something far unique, which is an amalgamation of who they are, what the space is, and a uh, little bit of what we are trying to produce. Our greatest challenge that we have always felt is uh, the time management factor which uh, we face in Karachi. Other than that, there is a huge education problem. I always feel, and this is, uh, I'm quoting uh, Shahid Saab, Shahid Abdullah Saab, and he says, we are architects, we give tuition zyada dete And I just wish that uh, people would stick around, learn new things, work together, and then let's, you know, build something larger than what an individual is create a legacy rather than create uh, individualism the most memorable projects that are the ones that we have renovated we did uh, a lovely project which was in phase four client had asked me to come and visit the house and said now you tell me should I buy this place or not we were able to give him almost uh, 45 feet long large uh, hallway which became his uh, formal drawing room and it was uh, lovely because we were able to give him a wooden gable roof and a lot of uh, lovely cottage details that he wanted and uh, we had a lot of fun doing that project. In Pakistan at least uh, we are uh, still very very behind. We are not given any help from the government uh, or from the federal federal sector where things are subsidized. I wish those things were changed so production and uh, construction was made easier. But uh, like, like I said before, uh, we lack education and uh, that goes across the board. Technology plays a very important role in architecture and interior design. Just to give you a small example, when I was uh, in college, we started off with drafting Drafting, but now the drafting is not there anymore. We have to learn how to do that because everybody has to start from scratch, at least in college level as well, school level too. Everything has gotten, is computerized. Now the computerized life is now on uh, the tablets. The tablets have become a very important part of every interior designer and architects. You know, that's their notebook. I still feel that uh, technology will always stay and remain a tool for us. 
contrast and a good architect will always use that to uh, you know make his presentation but uh, we're human beings and we have to live like human beings and uh, our senses work like that so I just feel that one should stay with the basics at least with with light with color with sound with our furniture with our homes I came across H2O by fluke one morning I was just like I need to find golden taps we started looking aggressively all over Karachi where could we find golden taps turns out that there was this one shop and I went there because I had a client he wanted a golden bathroom we will just need to find you a golden pot that was a joke when I went to H2O I found a golden pot and I said you know what we can make this reality and we made him a lovely interesting lovely master bathroom H2O management is great they give you a lot of personal assistance they know what your style is and based on that they uh, send you images that you would be attracted to I would recommend H2O to their product range all right thanks a lot it was uh, great talking and uh, letting us uh, you know introduce ourselves